All right, tactical conference room. I already did all I could with everyone else. I've still got some time before the briefing at free. It might be a good idea to take care of any business I've got before then. Eventually, Michael, Toa, Randolph, and Principal Aurelia arrived and... The briefing began at 3 p.m. as scheduled. Um... Well, it's time. We're starting this thing or what? Huh, no need to rush. Not even I know the details of our special lessons. Our only chief- only our chief instructor and our ch contact are privy to that information. I apologize for the wait. Our contact? Is this someone from the RMP? Oh, I keep you guys waiting? Sorry, my bad. Huh? That voice! Lecter? No way! And Milliam. Major Lecter! And that's... <laughs> <laughs> Milliam! Sup, Breen? Long time no see! Oof! <laughs> and there's your traditional reunion tackle! <laughs> <laughs> I knew tagging along with Lecter would be a good idea! I've got another mission next week, and I didn't know when I'd get the chance to see you again. Grats on graduating, Reen! <laughs> and grats on getting crazy tall, too! Well, I've only grown like five reach. You don't seem like you've changed much. As energetic as ever, I see. Hmm? <laughs> Milliam, it's been so long. Sheesh. Been a while, Schwarzer. Didn't think I'd be running into you here. But hey, I'm glad the place you got tossed to is working out so well for you. Not quite sure I understand what you're getting at. But it's good to see you again. It's been since the end of last year, right? Right you are. A pleasure seeing you again too, Miss Herschel. The Major's not giving you a hard time, is he? Uh, oh no. We're all fine here. If we could get to the matter at hand, Major Arundel. And can't forget you. It's been a while since we saw each other too. Hello, oh, Orlando. I heard our leader asked you for quite the doozy of a favor. Sorry about that. <laughs> this isn't like you, Scarecrow. Yeah, it's a pain, but I still owe you one, so let's call it even, yeah? Well, that's a weight off my chest. Well, shoot. Wait, let me see the t text log. Oh, what's wrong? That's why. Then that leaves. Oh, what's wrong? Iron blood. Damn it. Then that leaves. Yes, I can actually hear their voices again. Well, that's a weight off my chest. Oh, what's wrong, Iron blood? Oh, don't worry about me. Go ahead. Continue with your reunions. Hmm. What's the autoplay button? Nope. I need to make an introduction now. Imperial Army Intelligence Division, Special Affairs, Major Lector Arundel. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, I suppose this is the first time we've met like this, isn't it? Though considering the events that led me here, it certainly doesn't feel like it. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. Wow! She's the Golden Rakshasa? Major Lector's certainly formidable himself, but... Uh, I can feel the tension in the air. Anyway, let's get to the main topic. We seem to have majors from both the RMP and Intelligence Agency here today. Now then, what sort of fascinating things will you tell us, I wonder? This is... I see. Can't say I was expecting that. Not one bit. I call that t the textbook definition of a sacrificial pawn. So whose organization was it that brought this- that fought this up? Chief Instructor Michael? Major Arundel? It was an intelligence division in conjunction with the RMP. 
Well, to be perfectly honest, it came from Chancellor Goliath Osborne himself. Under the advisement of the Governor General of Crossbell, His Excellency Rufus Alberea. But this plan is just too much. There have been disturbances in the west half of the Empire. Multiple Jaeger courts have been spotted, as well as agents of the Society Ouroboros. Ford's newly established branch campus will be tasked with handling these threats. These kids just started school, and you want to send them to engage in actual combat against threats like these? They're just being used as scapegoats. They'll die out there. Toa. She's absolutely right. However, this is one of the conditions that allowed for the establishment of this school in the first place. As I'm sure you're all aware, tensions between the Empire and the Republic of Calvert have never been higher. Our entire eastern border sees skirmishes on a daily basis. Just the other day, a major battle took place in the Nord Highlands. The Nord? Really? How did things get so bad in the first place? To be perfectly honest, the Intelligence Division and the RMP are both completely tied up at the moment. We're fighting an information war along the entire east of the Empire, including Crossbell and Northambria. Yep, pretty much. After this, I'm headed to the Croizan province myself for my mission. I see. Is that something you should just blurt out? As a result of all this, resources and troops have, been, uh, uh, have had to be diverted from the western half of the Empire. Plus, we are concerned that there is a strong possibility we will be targeted for attack there. So that's where this plan comes into play. The Mysterious Society Ouroboros, they were the ones pulling the strings during the Civil War during the Northern War. They were the cause of the turmoil in Crossbell and even the strange events in Liberal. In addition, the ten or so elite Jaeger corps that, that at times work for Ouroboros have been spotted. According to our info at the Intelligence Division, all these groups appear to be on the move. The plan is necessary, we need to have some way to stop them. And of course we will not be deploying the students to known lines of battle. While undertaking these field exercises, we would have the most advanced technology such as Panzer Soldats on hand to protect them. In addition, the branch campus will also receive its very own armored train for use in these exercises. An armored train? Isn't that a little overkill? That, that had to cost a fortune. What can I say? We had a good budget. Besides, it won't be the only use for it. On top of all that, we got an Agent Chevalier, one of the best tacticians in Crossbell, and the former acting captain of the Courageous. Your students' lives will be in your hands, too. This is messed up. Now I understand. Quite an interesting plan. Training exercises that allow us to prepare for and deter an invisible threat. It could even be said that it embodies both the world as a battlefield and foundation of the world philosophies of our school. Well... Forest Branch Campus acknowledges the necess necessity for this plan. Now tell us where and when the first field exercise will be held. Understood. It'll take place in the south of the Sutherland province near St. Ark. The when will be Friday night, April 21st. You'll arrive there via the armored train Der Flinger. I, I know there's nothing we could have done, but this whole thing still makes me feel bad. Yeah, I had no idea this was such a big operation. Now I feel like I showed up at the real bad time for you guys. No, it's not your fault, Milliam. It was all decided the minute the campus was founded. And even uh, I've noticed the western side of the Empire is looking a little thin. Yeah, but as someone from the Intelligence Division, I still feel ki kind of bad. If I'd known about this, I could have given you a heads up just uh, uh, heads up for Usus or something. That probably wouldn't have been a great idea. I'm sure it was a pretty, pretty confidential information. What? You're still here? Ahem, Instructor Herschel, I'll need you to arrange our travel plans early next week. Understood. We heading home already, Lecter? Not quite yet. I need, to, I need to transfer over some info from the Intelligence Division. It'll take a little while. Find something to keep yourself busy in the meantime. Actually, hey Schwarzer, think you can babysit for a bit? Yeah, sure thing. Hey, why are you treating me like I'm some kid? Eh, whatever. I guess it's fine as long as Reen is showing me around. No discipline at all. Just try not to cause any trouble, understood? Well, well I'll see you later. Have fun. Whew. 
Whew, well, I'm off to the library to do some research. There are some documents I want to investigate for the field exercises. Oh yeah? Uh, well, don't work yourself too hard. He's right, Prez. You always go full throttle when it comes to stuff like this. You gotta take it easy sometimes. Well, I'll try to be careful. Thanks, you two. See you later. If you need anything, please give me a call. Hey, good for you. You get to work with the class Prez. Looks like she's working herself to the bone with everyone's request as usual. Uh, pretty much. I've been relying on her too. Hopefully she'll let me repay the favor. Anyway, how about I show you around the campus and the town? Oh heck yeah, let's get going. Got more bonding points. Hmm. Milliam is level 8. She has way more skills than Reen. And she's higher level than Altina for some reason. Hmm. White decoration. Damage reduction. So we only take 0.1%. Uh, so we only take 10% damage. Hopefully. Sledge impact. Hmm. Sure, he has her S craft. Okay, can I s uh, Let's see... I'm up! Yes, I'm gonna have her travel on the map if I need to. Did I get you any costumes? Okay, I cannot change any of her equipment. That means she's purely a guest character. Wait, her gear, yeah, is about the same tier as mine. Actually, no, she has better defensive gear. Not using the starting stuff that I'm using. What kind of costumes did I get you? I didn't get- you don't have any costumes, I guess. Maybe I, there's still something in the DLC I didn't open up. I decided we're going to store a chess club uh, together, Kurt. Well, thanks for the invite, I guess, but do you even have any, any experience? To be honest, I'm still a beginner, but I know the rules at least. Very well then, let's go back to the dorms and see what you've got. Heck yeah, bring it on! If we're in the club together, I'll definitely be able to figure out your secret to being popular with the ladies. That's your motive? My what now? Heh, <laughs> well at least they've got their club figured out. I'm not sure I understand what he means, but so long as he's willing to join. In any case, it seems the chess club is all set to go. Oh, Instructor Reen. I heard from Rachel that you've started playing Vantage Masters. I did receive a deck, but I didn't realize you and Rachel were acquainted. Well, I keep tabs on all the pretty ladies in town. I picked up Vantage Master so I can get to know her better. Oh, I see. I need to beat you to get your card. So you have some free time, please play me. I've got to sharpen up so I can sweep Rachel off her feet. Yeah. My deck is good enough to beat the starter, uh, starting two opponents, but can I beat this guy? He might be really strong. Can't really see the enemy's deck ahead of time. He's using Fighter as well. Right. Oh no. Game on. Oh. Wait, why is it a golden coin this time? Okay, so... Hmm... If we both take some damage... We have a you kamikaze later. I wonder if it's even worth it to go first. Seriously, look at that. The enemy's already got a huge advantage here. Wait, that's a different c fire type card. What does it do? It doesn't have long range. It ju it's just a beat stick. I see. I should save that for later. Hmm.
It's actually pretty bad. I don't get it. I, don't, I have free magic cards yet. I never seem to draw them when I need them. Ow. Things are going bad. Oh. There we go. And this will help me next turn. Turn the tides in my favor a bit. Heal me. Hmm. Shows the weights didn't move. Oh well. No. Even more power. Well, at least I get to draw a card. There are two ranged attackers, and I'm going to snipe you. Hmm. In turn, use the Dar de Arma as a decoy. Because that fighter is probably going to move to the front row and get way stronger. Oh, shit. Surviving a direct confrontation seems unlikely. Ow, but now you are now you can't attack without being defeated unless you summon a really convenient last minute card in which case they might be screwed range at attackers are pretty op aren't they Hepatis times three. <sighs> Gotta keep a balance between the weaker and stronger cards, huh? Okay, let's head to the bath. Oh, hey, what's this? This is the dorm's bath. It's split between boys and girls. What? You got a, you get a bath here? That's so cool. I want to go in. Come on. Well, Lecter's waiting on us, but I guess just a quick dip will be fine. Alrighty, let's go! No, like I said, it's split between boys and girls. Whoa, this is way bigger than I expected. Did that general lady have all this built? Yeah, that's what I heard. We only had showers in the old Class 7 dorm, so this is pretty nice. Huh, but man, we really had a blessing in your mirror. And playing around with those sheep monsters was fun too. Even if they frame, ended up causing Reen to take the blame for peeking. I remember that. You're going all over the continent for your missions, right, Milliam? Have you visited any other hot springs or baths? Oh yeah, all the time. I, all the time. I went to a spa with Claire and Heimdall just the other day. 
I also tried out the buff at Yusuf's mansion. It's super duper huge. I invited him to join me, but he flat out refused. Well, no surprise there. You can probably stand to be a bit more modest. Heh, <laughs> maybe. I like to go with Tilly sometimes, sometime too. Even when we were on the same missions, we never had time to play. Oh, and our combat shells too. It'll be Millie and Tilly with Lammy and Sammy. Together we'll form a band and solve mysteries. Heh, <laughs> well, I'm sure the chance will come. Though I'm having trouble imagining or get Lamb and or claim Solias holding instruments. Oh yeah. That was a great bath. I feel ready and ready to go. Let's get this tour back on track. Alright, alright, I hear you. Hmm. I'm glad we were both able to start clubs without any problems. Um, yes. I'm still scared of being in the club by myself with Ash, but I'll try my best. Heh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll be giving you moral support. Oh, by the way, there was something I wanted to ask you about. Tatiana, do you happen to read literature like this? Yes, it can't be. Where do you get this? I feel a chill in the air. Something ominous just happened. I never imagined I'd find someone here who shared my interest in stories like this. Boys love stories, maybe? I couldn't be any happier. Hey, I feel the same way. My more students here. There's the bug cook. Come on, come get some, everyone. I went up some wild locust soup Freddy style. Whoa, that's got a really strong smell. It really does, huh? Remember Margarita's cooking giving off all kinds of funky smells, so this is on a whole nother level. Well, I'll try it out. Sandy's actually going to eat it? Slurp. Herp. Uh, did it disagree with you? Uh, well, it certainly smells very strong. But, slurp. Hmm, this aftertaste. Yeah, so you can tell, huh? I put a little maple sugar in there. It balances out the bitterness of the locusts. Yeah, the two combine to make a unique, delicate flavor. Freddy, this is amazing. These two are, uh, really something else. That soup seems kind of interesting, but I think I'll pass. Even Milliam doesn't want to try it. What? I don't think the girls will like the texture of locusts, but... This is amazing, Freddy. This is new, really new and revolutionary. I call it Wild Locust Soup Frey style. Heh, <laughs> seems like Sandy likes it. But what does she call it? Revolutionary? I make this all the time, though. Huh, that implies that there are other people who know how to cook insect meals. This black tea Sandy made is delicious. I agree, it's just what I expect from a cooking club. Uh, Maya, didn't you already have green tea and snacks at your club earlier? Oh, no need, no need to worry. I have a spare stomach for each kind of tea and the snacks that go with it. Is that so? It seems that Maya is the type who doesn't put on weight easily. I'm jealous. Where it be sweet or savory, wh wherever it may be from, food is the ultimate healing. I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. Monk has an optional conversation. Oh, Reen, is that Millennium you've got there with you? It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Uh, about a year or so, yeah. You look better than ever, Monk. You s even seem a bit happier. Uh, well, I've, I have been getting to out more since I started working here. Anyhow, Reen, you seem to be getting around a lot, just like when you were a student. Are you planning on taking your class anywhere outside leaves? <laughs> yeah, well, actually... Reen told Monk about field exercises. So now the entire branch campus is doing what only you guys in Class 7 used to do. I'm looking forward to all the good stories I'll be able to tell on the radio. Oh, that's right, you always re reference our exploits in the old Class 7 on, in your radio material. Heh, <laughs> yeah, though I always add my little twist to all your es little escapa escapades. But I'm bummed that I can't, re can't really interview the students. Unless a certain someone would be willing to provide me with a story. Are you trying to say that you want to ask Reen? I guess you could say that. I know you're going to be working, so I shouldn't be asking you this, but if you could give me some good material to work with, my job would be a lot easier. Can you spice? Uh, can you help me spice things up at Radio Chista? In that case, sure. Should I contact you for the archives when I have new material? Yeah, that would be great. Thanks, Reen. Uh, nothing like having friends to help you out. Wowie, Monk. You're... Ugh, I really need to stop using... Oh, Monk, you've been pretty good at negotiating. Yeah, no kidding. You know, I'm just gonna switch back to controller. It's too easy to accidentally right-click during a conversation. Unless I try to make sure I never... Uh, I'm only... Uh, my fingers are only on left-click until further notice. 
Hmm. It's really hard. I'm not, I need to get used to the mouse uh, 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 to using mice in, in video games. Otherwise, I'm never gonna be able to fully master it. I, I, I'm gonna always have those bad habits. I thought the people who work on radio shows would be cooler. You know, like they all seem like cool people. They all seem like cool people on the air, which is why I decided to work here. But they only make me do random busy work, and they, and they pair me up with that weirdo monk. So boring. Okay. What's up with you, Ash? Well, if it ain't everyone's favorite instructor, come to have a drink with me? I trust that drink of yours is now non-alcoholic. Yep, sorry, but you won't be catching me in the act. Now that I think of it, are you even are you even old enough to drink? You're like what, two or three years older than me? How do you even get this job? Well, I mean, I still do still have a lot to learn. But I'm still your superior, so how about you show stow the attitude? Yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. Sheesh, Randolph must really have his hands full of this one. And playing the superior card when you're only a couple years older. Oh, don't mind me, I was just joking around. Don't take it so personally. I can already tell this one's going to be tons of trouble. Zuri so Intelligence Division's White Rabbit. You went to the main campus alongside Schwarzer, right? Yep, guilty as charged. And you're really the Golden Rakshasha herself. I didn't expect you to be such a smoking hot babe. <laughs> I'm flattered. Milliam, you really need to think a bit more before you open your mouth. Don't worry, it's fine. Well, feel free to look around the campus as you, much as you like before duty calls you away. Don't, no door here will be close to you. Hey, thanks. That's real nice of you. You do remind me of Black Rabbit, but you two certainly have your differences. Feel free to look around the campus as much as you like. Do you have any conversations with Milliam? Looks like the professor went somewhere. I was wondering why it was so quiet around here. Oh, so you hear it's been occurring on a daily basis, huh? Anyway, it's been a while, Valley. Uh, uh, look at you talking all fancy now. Is that the, the smallest secondary contractor I spy there? I'm glad to see you're doing well. What's it? Okay. What about you, Tita? Got anything to say? Maybe uh, something about uh, 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 Lammy? Hmm, I need to look for the manual. It's pretty hectic around here. Reminds me of when I helped out Grandpa and Mom. She seems busy. And where's Professor Smith? Oh, Instructorine. If you need me to do anything in the workshop, just let me know. I may look busy, but I can make time for whatever you need. Ah, oh, thank you. She's such a good kid. Hmm. Hmm, wielding a sword would be so cool, but with my skinny arms... Have you never held a sword before, Kyrie? Oh, Instructor Reen. I've tried to in the past, but I'm just not cut out for it. Well, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. But if I remember correctly, you use an orbital staff, right? That's not something that just anyone can get a handle on. You should be proud. I guess. I still wish I could use a sword, though. It's m much more manly and cool. It's not that I don't understand where you're coming from, but he's kind of shallow. No complaining won't do anything, but I can't just give up. Anyway, let's just sharpen my manliness through other means. So, what do you think about the swimming club now? Well, watching all of you today made me want to swim too, but... But you're still thinking about it, huh? Well, we've got until tomorrow morning to decide. Maybe try talking to some of the others at the dorm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks for the help. It's no trouble at all. Gustav's really having a hard time deciding. If he still hasn't picked a club by tonight, maybe I'll talk to him. Who, after working up a sweat, water tastes so great. I'll see you on the left right after practice was over. We're going to be in the same club. I'd like to get to know her. I need to make sure she doesn't get away next time. Burp, I accidentally drank the pool water. Ah, but this hardship is welcomed. The higher the wall, the more fulfillment I feel when I finally overcome... Burp. Are you okay, Wayne? Oh, aren't you a cute girl? This is an automatic conversation, and I didn't have a choice the moment I spoke to him. Oh, thanks, old guy. Be nice to read for me, will ya? Milliam. Oh, you're a funny one. Guess I've got no choice but to be nice to you from now on, instructor. Waha. Just trying to... Maybe I should sell some fish. I don't think... Yeah, I already have some... I don't think I can... Wait, no. Can I use fish as bait in this game? I don't think I can, so maybe I should just trade for a beast flesh real quick. Yeah, let's keep one in my inventory just in case they bring back the use fish as bait for further fish mechanic. 
I highly doubt they will, but you never know. Oh, you're shopping too, Schwarzer? I can always count on this place to bring in the goods. Oh right, the flagship it's store, the flagship store is in Crestwell, isn't it? Do you go there often? As part of my police work, yeah. And those are the days. I remember the crazy dame who ran the place. Smoking in more ways than one, but crazy. And she must have been pretty unique. That said, I don't. Uh, I didn't know they got a dog. Not so sure how I feel about the crazy way they're raising it, though. Ah, oh, it's a doggy. Hey, what are you doing? I told you everyone who comes in here is a customer, no matter how shady they seem. And we don't bark at the customers. Wine? Uh, sorry about that, you got yelled at because of me. But good job sniffing out my true identity. I'm impressed. Wine. Uh, what kind of exchange is this even? Most contraband I'm getting in lately has been kind of lacking in quality. Damn, I screwed up. There's a crap ton of air courts in the Empire, but there's no point in the demand if I ain't got the supply. Hey, you want a submachine gun? I'll make it real cheap for ya. That depends. Is it legal? Hi, huh, you want one with proper documentation? It'll cost ya. Oh, never mind. Forget what I said. I got some good stuff. Eh, the boutique store has better armor than you. Hmm? Done already? What? It looks like something important's going on here. Hey, Granny, you alright? Oh, yes, dear. I only summoned a lull. This is nothing. No way, you're definitely, you definitely fell. You shouldn't strain yourself. Here, I'll carry you on my back, so hold on tight. Oh man, you scared me. You hurt Granny, you gotta be more careful. That's the mayor's son, right? Oh my, you're too kind. Well then, perhaps I'll take you up on your offer. Hmm. I wonder if she'll recognize Milliam. Milliam? Hey, Rosine. Nice outfit. Looks like you really did become a sister. Way to go. What a wonderful surprise. It's really been too long. I had no idea you were in leaves. Hey, it's just a little, just a little stop on my mission for the intelligence division. Now that I get, I get a good look at you, Rosine. Do you get taller? Your boobies definitely got bigger, that's for sure. Man, it's so unfair. Million, will you please stop staring? Please stop harassing the nun. Sorry to bar you while you're working. Not at all. But we really should sit down and talk about you know what next time. Agreed, next time for sure. Hmm? Oh no, oh no, it's even already even then. I'm gonna end up on the student council at this rate. So we have to help you find a club. Hmm? What's he on gnawing about? Oh, Instructorine. And who are you? Hiya, I'm Milliam. I'm one of Reen's classmates. I'm just showing her around the campus. By the way, if you need some advice, I'm, I'd be happy to help. Looks like you're having some trouble choosing a club. Really? You're my savior. Please, she's a hand. And we gotta pick your your club. Shouldn't that be fun? Well, right now I've got I've not I've not no got a Scooby. I've got to start all over from square one. How do you mean? Well, I've actually got a wee bit of a reputation for being a peer in a peer into trains and railways. I wanted to start a railway club, but couldn't find anyone else to join. I was running out of time, so I went to the principal to ask if I could start a club by myself. It didn't take her long to shoot me down and tell me I'm a boring guy, though. Really? I right, she started getting itching about how how club activities are for demonstrating the composure of a citizen of the empire, and how you accomplish that. How you accomplish that sitting around doing something very skilled that she says to me. Oh yeah, that definitely sounds like her. But if you don't want to end up in the student council, you need to come over. Uh, you'll, you need to come up with an alternative. Ooh, me, me, pick me. What about a cooking club? That's what I did, and it was super fun. You get to eat a bunch of yummy food too. Huh, that doesn't sound half bad actually. But now you, now you mentioned it, I hear Sandy start up a cooking club. Then again, I'd probably be, be more keen on eating the food than cooking it. Hmm, that's no good then. I'm sure there are a lot of other available clubs too, right? You didn't join any of those? Alright, well, I don't really fancy any of the other clubs, to be honest. None of them were really saying to my heart the same way trains do. Hmm, I see. See, that makes me think of our performance for the school festival. We're really saying our hearts out there. I can picture a stage like it was yesterday. Yeah, me too. Oh, what'd you do for your school festival? All of us in class 7 did a musical performance. We dressed up and played some rock music. And also made some funny facial expressions. Uh, what? 
Really? Oh man, playing rock music sounds pure dead badass. Heh, <laughs> right? You seem pretty fired up about that. Are you that interested in rock music, Pablo? I listen to it quite a bit. Those sounds that shake your soul like a surging wave get feel familiar and nostalgic too. Just like the sound of a train chugging along the tracks. And it seems the thing about you being a train that wasn't an exaggeration. But you do have something else you're interested in besides trains. Uh, besides trains. Hmm. But don't music clubs have to be like orchestras and the like? Not necessarily. Other schools might require that, but here at the branch campus, the clubs are left mostly to the students. You could make it more of a modern music club. If you start looking now, you might be able to get some more members. Huh. A modern music club sounds pretty interesting. Heck yeah, it sounds super cool. Alright then, time to get moving. I've got to the end of the day. I'm gonna go around asking everyone if they want to join. She sure would have helped, Instructorine and Miss Milliam, was it? Glad to help. Heh, <laughs> no problem, and you don't need a miss part. But will Pablo be able to find anyone on his own this late in the day? Will you mind if I gave you a hand? It's already evening, and you'd be able to get more people if there's two of us working. They're together. You sure? That'd be a massive help. Of course, I might as well see this through to the end. Now that that's decided, how about should we spread out? The campus is pretty big, so that le so leave that to me. Oh, uh, you can ask around at the dorm later, so can you check the town for me? Huh, <laughs> can do. Alright, let's go, go, go! Hmm. Okay, so... where to? Yeah, the green ones are not as obvious. Oh, there's someone. Will she really agree to it? Let's save and hope she does. Hmm. It's evening, all right evening. What am I going to do? That's Valerie from class nine. I wonder if she's chosen a club yet. Well, let's ask. Hello there, Valerie. Do you have a moment? Instructor Schwarzer. And who in the world is that? Yeah, I should have seen that coming. I see, a modern music club, huh? Pablo's desperate for members, so I, sh I should join, is that it? Well, it's not kind of uh, you, uh, it's not kind of you, Instructor. If you don't want to join, that's perfectly fine too. If you're considering another club, then too bad for Pablo. I'd be I'll be more than happy to give you advice either way. It's if it's too difficult to ask the guy, I can do it for you. Well, no, it's not like that. If you want to do it, then you should just jump in already. Now, now, Milliam. Well, I mean, I am a little bit interested. Oh, yeah? Instructor Schwarzer, have you heard, heard of Northern Rock? Well, just the name. It's popular in Remiferia, North Ambria, and Jurai. Pretty much the whole Northern region of Western Zemuria. It's a specific subgenre of rock, right? I'm a little familiar with rock, but not enough to know about any trends in it. He would have known, though, being from Jurai. Are you a, friend, a fan of it? Well, somewhat. And I can also play guitar a little. Really now? Sounds like we've got a match then. Yup, yup, it's decided. I suppose it might be more interesting than the student council. I guess I could go talk to them about it. Sounds good. Hmm, if I had to guess, I'd say Pablo is just about done going around the campus by now. I'll give him a call in my archivist too. Pablo to uh, told him he'd also been able to find a few prospective club members across campus. They decided to gather everyone together on the main building's rooftop. Ah, oh, so Pablo already asked you, Gustav. Are you interested in rock music too? Yeah, I'm from near the Aragon Mine, so North Ambria and Dry are practically our neighbors. I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but I grew up surrounded by people who were fans of Northern Rock. They said, that said, I'm a total novice when it comes to instruments. Well, learning that part, uh, that is part of the club experience. By the way, can you play any instruments, Pablo? Can't say I have any experience, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Shouldn't be a bar. I think I'll ask someone with more experience to show us the ropes, though. I didn't say I'd join yet. Oh, I take it you're fine with joining the student council then? No? Huh, then you just have to suck it up and g give it a bash. I'll do my best not to bar you. I guess I've got no choice. Very well, join the modern music club. Huh, then it's decided. How hey, fun fact, Reed's played the, gu the guitar before. So if you need some tips, go bug him anytime. Oh, I guess we can ask for a cheeky bit of help now and then. Huh, well I don't know how much I can be help I can be, but I'll see what I can do. 
Anyway, here's to the start of the Martin Music Club. Oh, thanks, lords. Cheers to the both of you for helping out. Wish I'd get immediate payment, but it'd be pretty bad to accept payment from students. So I guess that's not gonna factor in until my salary, huh? I may be experienced, but I don't- uh, but I didn't sign up to hold hands and babysit. Oh well, it'll be a good way to pass the time at the very least. If Ellery's gonna be, uh, be on guitar, then I'll take bass. I have to admit, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm actually pretty curious about the drums. I should at least go buy some sticks in Heimdall. Hmm. Let's see, Suburland, Suburland. I need to take care of the trouble plans, but I also need to prepare as much as I can for the field exercises. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of time. Dang, if only I'd known beforehand, I could've warned you guys. Heh, <laughs> oh, it'll all be fine, don't worry about it, Milliam. Please, go enjoy seeing the town of Serene. I feel bad leaving all this to Toa. Let me help you put all those documents together, Toa. I mean, if it's sort of field exercises, I should be pitching in anyway. Oh, uh, Reen, but don't you need to show Milliam around? Sorry, Milliam, is it okay if we continue the tour in a bit? Heh, <laughs> no problemo. Actually, let me help out too. After coming all this way, it's the least I can do for you guys. Thanks, Milliam. There you have it. Well, when you put it like that, how can I say no? I have a list of books I need. Can I get you to, to the find the ones with a checkmark by them? Understood. Just leave it to me. The two of them got the list from Toa and went off to in search of the documents. Alright, found everything we need off the shelf. I'm done over here too. Wow, thanks you two, you really helped me out a lot. It was all thanks to your neatly organized list. The only shelves we have left are these. Alright, let's show these shelves who's boss. Oh, whoops, this is the intelligence division. Forgot they need me to check in per periodically. Is everything okay? It's all good, don't worry about me, be right back. There isn't much left, so how about we finish up now? Okay, sounds good. I'm surprised at what a good selection this library has. Military textbooks, documents on the different regions, back issues of the Imperial Chronicle, even novels. For some reason, it's really satisfying to see a complete set of hard-to-find novels. Hey, feel free to come in here and read all you'd like. If people make good use of the library, I'll feel like all my hard work was worth it. Wait, are you saying you gathered all these books? Uh, no, I just wrote up the catalog. The principal said I must have seen a lot of documents while working with the NGOs, so she put me in charge of it. Writing up a catalog of everything in this entire library by yourself? Isn't that a pretty unreasonable thing to ask? That said, I'm even more amazed you were actually able to do it. Oh, it's no big deal, really. But if I'd known we'd be doing field exercises like this, I'd have found more materials that cover combat. We weren't prepared and the students get hurt, or you. Like during the Civil War, when... Toa. Sorry, there's no time for that right now. We need to focus on getting all these documents. The last one is up here. We almost got it. Oh, we can leave the high up ones to me. What? Toa! Reen! Don't worry. No matter what dangers await us, I'll do everything in my power to bring everyone back home safely. Students and instructors both. I'll protect their anyone and everyone within my reach, no matter what. Yeah, I know you will. I'm counting on you, Reen. Huh? What's going on here? William, this isn't what it looks like. Oh yeah? Because it looks like a super red hug. I gotta get in on this action. Brace yourselves. Hey, William! After digging themselves out of the resulting book avalanche, the three of them finished gathering the documents. Bond increase to free. Hmm, which people should I concentrate on? Oh shoot, this is pretty hard. Hi, you know, where are you up to out here? 
Nothing, I was just seeing how the racket felt to swing. Luis is going to teach me how to play tennis later so we can start a tennis club. Oh, tennis? I heard that's a popular sport in Remy Puria. You've got great motor skills, so that'll be perfect for you. Hmm, thanks, I guess. By the way, who's she? I've never seen her before. She's a cute little thing, isn't she? Are you helping her find her parents or something? Oh no, she's... Oh, are you one of Reen's students? Heh, <laughs> nice to meet ya. My name is Milliam Orion. I'm Tilly's big sis and one of the veteran Class 7ers. Veteran Class 7er? And Orion is... Seriously, who is she? Well, it'll take a while to explain everything. You seem busy, so I'll give you the whole story another time. Uh, okay then. Anyway, I need to get back to practice. See you later. Alright, here we go. We need to at least get the basic form down before we start our club stuff. Uh, she's a hard worker, isn't she? Yeah, it just seems like she's really into it. But it'd be great if we c I could help her out somehow. Spend time with Yuna. Oh, maybe that'd be a good way to help. Sorry, Millie, but do you mind if we put a pause on the tour for a bit? Huh, sure, but... Wait, Reen, are you? Heh, <laughs> typical Reen. Fine, I'm gonna help too. Thanks, Milliam. Ha! Huh. Huh. Rawr! Heh, <laughs> I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Okay, I'm also for a club to start. I'll work hard with Jessica and Louise. Good job, Yuna. What the? Instructor, you're still here? Wait, the tennis balls! Heh, <laughs> looks like you finally noticed. Oh, there's another one over there. Out of the way, coming through. No way, were you picking up after me the whole time? I was wondering why the basket wasn't running out of balls. You really didn't notice us at all? That's some serious concentration. I was watching you for a while. It's amazing how much better you got in such a short time. Looks to me this tennis club's off to a promising start. Leave me alone. Yeah, I don't want to have to owe you anything for this. You don't owe me a thing. I told you yesterday I was planning to help you with your guys' acti club activities. William helped out too. I only did what an instructor would be expected to do. Anyway, good job, and good luck with the tennis club. If you run into any problems, just let me know. I'll come running, I promise. Ah. There are so many barriers between Crossball and its future, but we will overcome them. You know, I want to, you to fight and struggle to overcome your own barriers too. And if anything happens, I'll come running, I promise. Why does he have to remind me of him? Or is something wrong? Or it's nothing. Whatever, where or not I call you for help, I plan to give the club everything I've got. And thanks for picking up the balls. Huh, you're welcome. Oh ho, you too. Yeah, we don't know what's going on, but you two seem sh sure seem close all of a sudden. That's not... Huh. Afterwards, they all helped put the balls back in the storehouse. But I want to focus on Toa because apparently non-party members are going to give you special items towards the end. Alright, Bakery. Gotta to talk to Altina to advance the story and I've already used up all my bond points to the bathing event, did Vantage Masters, and did the quest. What are you doing here, Altina? I'm recovering my energy by supplementing my sugar intake. Today was fairly tiring. Well, I'm proud of you for picking your club. I hope you have fun swimming with Leonora and the others. Well, it won't be official until the school approves it. I'm just glad you were able to make a decision. Oh, you're gonna be in the club? Okay, I'll cheer you on too. I'll try to pr pr persevere as long for as long as I can. How was your brief? That voice! Hey Tilly, how you been? What is she doing here? No, no, Altina, she's just here on business. I was giving her a tour around the city. Long time no see, Tilly. The last time I saw you was th that joint mission last year. How's Sammy doing? Uh, yes, it's been a while. Can you, and can you stop calling me Tilly? But, but your name's kind of hard to say, you know? You can call us Millie and Lammy. I will not. And I never accepted your name for Clem Elias. <laughs> but it's so easier to remember. Well, Milliam seems happy at least. I heard they did some missions together last year. Hello, this is Reen. 
You don't need to tell me your name. I know who I called. Um, is this Professor Schmidt? Now that the briefing is over, you must have some free time. Prepare yourself and come to Einhal Keep. Is that what you were talking about? I'm sorry, but I'm giving an acquaintance a tour right now. The child from the Intelligence Division? Perfect, bring her with you. Come here the moment you're ready. Do not keep me waiting. He hung up. He's demanding as always. What's up, Reen? That call. I don't really want to, I don't really know, but... Reen told Millian about Schmidt's call. Oh, that place sounds fun. So should we get going? Are you sure, Milliam? What about the tour? Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I already got to see Tilly. And I want to see the old man Schmidt, too. Well, he did make it seem like it's important. Alright, then once we're ready... I will accompany you. Huh? He said the child from the intelligence division. That could refer to me as well. Besides, he didn't specify the number of people. Oh, sounds good. Let's go, let's go. Millie and Tilly, Lammy and Sammy, we're the ultimate quartet. Please don't affiliate me with you. Sign, now, now, you two. Once I'm ready to go to the keep, I'll come talk to you. You still have some pancakes to work through, so take your time. Understood, I shall proceed to stand by. Last chance to get anything done. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon. 